says he was fired because of his beard. Raymond Witzel is Norse pagan. He says facial hair is a symbol of his faith and masculinity. He worked as a security guard at Good Samaritan Hospital for 12 years, and when it closed, he was assigned to Miami Valley North. When he refused to shave, Witzel says he was fired. As a Norseman, our beard is our identity. It's a, it's a part of us. Premier Health told me security guards are not allowed to have beards and said they do not discriminate on the basis of religion. Witzel says his request for a religious exemption was denied, and now he filed a complaint with the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. A soggy night. The rain continuing to fall in many places where the rain is not steady. We're getting drizzle. Uh, it is soggy here in downtown Troy. As you can see, the rain still coming down the wet roadways. We've had just over a quarter of an inch of rain. In fact, new update over three-tenths of an inch of rain. Winds are out of the north at 10, which makes that 45 feel more like 40. And in some cases, the upper 30s. Live Doppler 7 radar showing the rain starting to shrink and taper off, at least the steady rain. Uh, still coming down, though, in Sydney and in Troy, and then eastward over into St. Paris, Urbana, Tremont City, and then headed south on 75. It is a wet go, all the way down through Dayton, Centerville, and Springboro. Now, this is kind of the back edge of the steady rain, which is lifting north and east, so we'll get a little bit of a break from the showers as we head through the night, at least the steady rain. There's still a lot of drizzle back here to the south and west, and this area of rain you see off here to the west, that will pivot in as we head into the daytime uh, tomorrow. So, unfortunately, looking soggy here for the weekend. Hour by hour, future cast, you can see the rain's uh, kind of tapering off as we head through the night, but picking back up toward morning. It's going to be a bit of a soggy Saturday with on and off light rain and drizzle all the way through the day. As we get into Saturday night, it looks like we get a break. In fact, the skies may even try to clear at least briefly Saturday night and early Sunday before yet another system drops in Sunday afternoon, spreading more light showers in for Sunday late in the day and into the evening. Uh, those showers will continue into Sunday night, and uh, that'll keep us cool as well with temperatures expected to stay in the 40s to lower 50s all the way through the weekend. Here's your forecast for the day tomorrow, 45 at 8 a.m. By lunchtime, about 47. We get up to 50 with scattered showers at 4 o'clock and on and off light rain as we head through the day on Saturday. The extended forecast, more showers Sunday, especially in the afternoon. We begin to dry out Monday. We just may not escape the clouds with a northwesterly wind. That will knock us back into the upper 30s for Tuesday morning, but uh, we get milder for Tuesday. That's actually the pick day of the week next week. We're up to 63, but rain showers coming back Wednesday, Thursday, and likely into Friday next week as temperatures drop back through the 50s. So some indoor plans might be good for the weekend. Have a good one. Thank you, Eric. That is News Center 7. Up next, Touchdown 7 with Sports Director Mike Hartsock. WHIO-TV is an equal opportunity employer.